Hi, I'm Rebecca Dakin, the great British sex expert, and as you know, I've been covering my five step formula for creating the perfect online dating profile. So, we're on step four now. If you haven't seen one, two, and three, please go back and watch them because they're all in sequence. So, step four is what do you want? So we've covered, step three was what you offer. Now we're on to what you want. And it's very important to do them that way around because everybody is about what's in it for them. So they do wanna know what you offer first. So what you want, congruency is key. And I've got two examples of, of this. Firstly, I was working with a guy in his online data profile and he told me that he wanted a girl who was very energetic, very bubbly, very confident and very positive and he was the complete opposite. He was a very negative person and he wasn't very confident. So that's a, a classic example of, of not, there's no congruency there. A very confident woman is not going to be with somebody who isn't confident and who isn't positive. So we worked with him to get him in the right place so that he became positive and confident so he attracted the right women. Another example is I was working with an American guy in his dating profile and he said that it didn't matter what women looked like, he was all about the personality, which was great, so we wrote him a really good profile and then he complained to me a week later that he had a lot of overweight women contacting him. That wasn't what he wanted. And that's fair enough, you shouldn't ever feel embarrassed about your size or what you look like because there is somebody for everyone. But it wasn't true what he was actually saying. He wanted, he was very active in the gym and he wanted somebody fit. So we changed his profile and you know, we, we, you never, it moves on to here, you never say what you don't want. So you don't go on your dating profile and say, well, I don't want anyone overweight to contact me. What you do is you think of a tactful and kind way to, to you know, to, to attract the right people. So we changed his dating profile to say how he liked working out in the gym and he liked keeping fit and he was seeking somebody like-minded. So that was a polite way of saying that he was also looking for somebody that was athletic. So congruency, very important. And yes, never, never write down what you don't want. Always keep your profile positive. So I've read at the end of some dating profiles, I don't want any bunny boilers. If you're a bunny boiler, don't contact me. So that's a very negative thing to have at the end of a profile. So always keep it positive. And what Match.com does in particular is it matches you with keywords. So if you're gonna put things that you want, it will then search through the matches and find other profiles with those things in them. So you're gonna get more refined matches. Another thing here is potential matches also, when you put what it is that you want, if, it, if that relates to that particular person, they're gonna go, oh, that's me. And you know, they will get, you'll get more of a chance of responses from the right people. Another thing to talk about what you want is what type of relationship are you after? Are you after a monogamous relationship? Are you looking for a casual relationship? Are you looking, are you more of a traditionalist? Are you somebody, are you a gentleman that always likes to pay? Um, or are you a woman that always likes to go halves and pay her own way? These sorts of things are quite important when you're dating to get those things clear. Um, so yeah, the next step about what you want is really just making sure that you put the qualities that you're looking for without sounding like that you're, um, you're too fussy. You don't want to end up with a big long list. What this is really is just to give an idea of the kind of person that you're looking for. So that is step four and step five will be coming to you next week. So do tune in to watch it and thank you for listening. If you want to go to my website, it's rebeccadakin.com and sign up and subscribe if you like my videos. Thank you.